Hello and welcome to Today Pass. My name's Scott, your friendly driving instructor, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you when is it safe to drive out at a roundabout. Please make sure to subscribe for future content as I will be making more videos like this one on multi-lane roundabouts, traffic controlled roundabouts, and spiral roundabouts. Now let's get started. So when is it a safe time to drive out at a roundabout? I like to make things as easy as possible and if you have a look here, I've drawn on a diagram this red area called a danger zone. So the simplistic way of knowing whether it's safe to drive out at a roundabout is, is there a vehicle in the danger zone? So we're gonna imagine that we're vehicle number three. Three. Yes, I know I have a problem with my THs. So if we know we have to give priority to the right at the roundabout, my question to you is, what car goes first? Is it car number three? Three, did it again. Living in London too long. Uh, car number two or car number one? Now, when I'm teaching people, they're very quick to answer. So if you've answered very quickly, you may have chose the wrong vehicle because I did kind of lead the question and tell you that you have to give priority to the right and car number two is in the danger zone. So we have to give priority to car number two. Car number two is in the danger zone. Any vehicles in the danger zone, you said, Scott, wait. Yes, that's totally correct. And that's a very simplistic way of knowing whether it's safe to drive out a roundabout. But the question is, what car goes first? Three, two, or one? So having said that we need to give priority to the right, if you put your imaginary self into car number two, what vehicle would you need to give priority to? Yes, car number one. So the answer to the question is, car number one goes first. Because car number two cannot go because it's being blocked, and we're gonna call car number one the blocker car, by car number one. So car number two has to stay and give priority to car number one. We're gonna call, we've called car number one, the blocker car. So if car number one has started to enter the roundabout, which prevents car number two from going, this gives us, car number three, an opportunity to go as well. Providing that we've timed this correctly, and car number one has not entered into the danger zone yet, this is our chance to go. So simplistic way of answering the question whether it's safe to go at a roundabout is, is there a vehicle in the danger zone? If that is yes, then you may want to stay stationary. However, now that you're more advanced and you have the knowledge of the blocker car and you start to see this on your driving lessons, then you may start to use this information or act on this information and start to enter and emerge out into the roundabout. With more practice, you'll get more confident and this is a safe time to go at a roundabout. So I hope this gives you any value. If it does, make sure you tickle your like button because it does give you a little chuckle. And this will increase your confidence and make you a safer driver. However, if car number one has entered into the danger zone, stay stationary. Although you may have seen car number one and you know about the blocker car, don't need to start practicing this straight away. Use the knowledge, see the vehicle, and then your timing will start to develop as you gain more experience behind the wheel. Knowing this information is crucial and you will prevent the flow of traffic from stopping, which is called undue hesitation, which can be a major fault on your driving test and cause you to fail. So very important information. Now I'd just like to finish off on our final question here, which can help you at any junction. So if you're like me, I struggled with telling whether it's a safe time to drive out at junctions, because I had been given very random advice from many different instructors, which was confusing. Then I met an instructor called Lawrence. Lawrence, 
you were amazing. You made everything so simple and easy to understand that I had no trouble after he posed this question to me. He said, Scott, would you walk out? As soon as I understood that question, my problem was solved and I never had any difficulty at any junctions thereafter. So ask yourself the question when you reach a junction, would you walk out? If it's a safe time to walk out, it's a safe time to drive out. If this video has been of any value, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe for future content, and why not go check out this video here, and I will see you next time.